Yeah, so I'm Marty Askwich. I'm the managing director of uh, Tribal DDB, which is the interactive and, and digital and social arm of DDB Canada, which is um, strategy agencies, uh, strategy magazines agency of the year in, in 2010. Um, so we're a, a you know a, a large multinational advertising and communications agency, and Tribal and, and Radar DDB are the are the digital and social arm of that. And I had that group of about 35 here in Vancouver. So we've looked at the market and how things have have changed in the market, um, really adapted our, our business to be able to uh, accommodate that, that shift from away from sort of traditional advertising and mass media into much more kind of a, a connected and engaged um, strategy with, with our target audiences. And knowing the power of, of social and social connectivity, you know, we feel like the, 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 uh, the share value, the, the ability for the consumer to share content with one another has really kind of made our jobs very different than it was uh, several years ago. It used to be a very sort of top down, uh, buy as much media as you can and reach as many people as you can with that media. Um, there, there's still a, a real uh, purpose to, to mass media and, and that sort of top down mentality. But then within that, you know, really it's kind of getting the, the consumer themselves to spread a lot of that message. Uh, throughout one another with their own recommendation, with their own commentary, um, and sometimes content generation ar- around that same content. So it's a really fundamental shift in in how advertising uh, and marketing is, has changed today, and uh, one that has has taken our industry really by storm as as we as organizations try and figure out what that new what that new dynamic is with the consumer, where it used to be us telling them what to buy, now it's them telling each other. You know what's important to them, and what are the brands that they're gonna, uh, you know, be part of their life and represent uh, them in every walk of, of life that they're yeah. in. So we've done a lot with uh, Canadian tourism; has been uh, probably one of our biggest uh, clients in this space for many years. Um, it's a brand built on the notion of traveler to traveler recommendations. So we've we've tapped into uh, the social sentiment, both you know, in their consumer website where they're able to uh, share commentary, upload video, but in many of our recent campaigns for them. Uh, a Twitter wall that we installed in uh, downtown New York and Chicago and Boston, which allowed consumers on the street in those markets to be able to interact with people who were traveling in Canada at the time and seeing the commentary, the photos that they were uploading and adding. Um, so that it, again, it's less about the brand telling you know what the what the key differentiators of the brand is, and really more about the consumer sharing that with one another. Locals know was a recent campaign we did in Canada domestically where. Uh, Canadians were sharing their favorite travel spots within Canada with one another um, through a, a site that we developed um, that allowed people to then comment on it, uh, upload their favorites to, to Facebook, to vote on it. There was contesting. Uh, very much more sort of an engagement strategy as opposed to a, a straight kind of you know one-to-one communication strategy. Well, I think the interesting thing for us is, is now looking at um, how social, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of come upon the industry very, very quickly. Um, you, you have, you have, you know, new new organizations, new companies, new startups, always trying to to sort of tackle, you know, what what that means to the market. And I think the interesting thing for me is I don't feel like social is a bolt on to other other programs or other plans. Um, we approach it very much from the center of the idea is the sociability of the idea, and that emanates back out to more of the mass and you know the communication objectives. So. We approach it within DDB Canada as um, the idea has to be has to have share value. It has to be shareable. It has to be sociable. Um, and so I wonder about you know do you need a social media strategy or do you need a great idea that has share value to it? And and that's a that's a phrase that we've kind of coined and we've we've invented if you will uh, that that speaks to not needing a social media strategy but needing something that's uh, a great communication strategy that's rooted. In how social um, ideas are today in today's uh, dynamic with the consumer around the idea of social and, and share value and where social media is heading is is the the focus on tools as a way to get messaging across I think is very short sighted I think you have to look at the consumer still wants to be driven emotionally they still want to feel a passion for something and and give and be given some social capital as far as um, what is what does my sharing of this content really mean for me as a as an individual? When I post something on my Facebook page, it has a very um, personal resonance to what I believe in. So, as marketers, as communicators, uh, we have to really shape things so that uh, there still is that emotional hook 
that's going to draw somebody in and make them want to share, but then also have some great content behind it. Some of that content can come from the consumer, like in the case of, of the CTC, of the Canadian Tourism's Locals Know campaign, it was about Canadians sharing their favorite spot, their passion for their little corner of Canada with others. And I think that's really, really important. Um, we've seen it in just about any of the campaigns we've, we've done that have been uh, very prolific in, in, in awards and, and gaining notoriety lately with um, Kenora's salty campaign with the with the tiny salt shakers. You know, we took a category and an industry that was you know sidekicks, uh, basically taking side rice dishes and made it very emotional. Made it a character that you really wanted to get behind and support, um, and and loved what what we were saying there. Um, the Canadian Cancer Society's uh, fight cancer campaign. It was all about you know the aggressiveness of people wanting to get rid of cancer from their lives. And we were able to really tap into that emotional drive, um, which sometimes gets forgotten when we talk about Twitter and Facebook and actual tools and tactics. Um, it still comes back to big ideas that people want to get behind because there's an, ero- an emotional resonance with, with what, uh, with what they're saying. That's just it. If you focus too much on the tool and too much on, well, I'm going to use Facebook because everybody's on Facebook, you sort of lose the essence of, of why and how Facebook could be really most powerful is that if you don't have a core idea that's rooted in the human truth and a human insight and a human emotion, it's very, very difficult to uh, make people care about that and share it in in Facebook. They have the tool, they have the platform, but are they gonna take that content and really make it part of their brand, part of their sort of DNA that they share with their network? And I think that's the real difference that we're seeing is um, just by having the tool doesn't doesn't make something successful. it still has to be dialed up in a, in a larger uh, strategy. So do you need a social media strategy or do you need a big idea that can get activated in social and mass and direct communications? And, and that's kind of our approach is to think of the, the big idea first, the sociability of that idea, uh, and then figure out how we, how we you know, make that sort of go viral or, or allow the, the user to take that content and really make it their own. I think the other thing that marketers and advertisers in particular are sort of falling into the trap is that the notion of publishing as the mechanism for social um, and forgetting about the ability to actually get really great consumer insights from social tools. So the listening platforms and even just being able to gauge sentiment and find out what people really think about you and the, the listening aspect of it. Um, publishing is one of a sort of an eight step process that I'd be talking about um, at the conference where, you know, we, we do a lot of sort of studying and listening and publishing with our clients. But from then, it's really about engaging them and, and activating them and, and, and taking them right through to sort of, you know, either purchasing the product or, or passing along the information that we want them to pass on. So to us, the publishing piece of it, telling people through social what you, what you want them to think or, or think or believe or feel about the brand. It's only one of you know seven or eight steps that that can be very very powerful for for marketers uh, in this space, and and that's another um, that's another shift we're seeing. I think uh, when you focus on the tools, you focus on what the tool can do. Um, you use it to the best of its ability, but when you focus on what you want the consumer to do, um, you use the best tools in, in whatever way you know you can, and, and that's you know, a very kind of different way of, of approaching. I'm 